Hello everyone, this is Ranoff in Space Engine News. Today is Thursday and you all know what that means. Updates! But before I get to the updates, I want to talk about the newest talks going around from the blog of Space Engine News. It seems that they decided to show that, uh, some of the planned toys coming up. One of which I'm super excited about. And that's pressurization. That's right. O2 in your ships. Big thing. The other thing they talked about was planets. Possible planets. That definitely will be interesting. And oh yeah. New rendering software. Which means this old thing will get a makeover when they update that by a bit and it you will barely recognize this thing. Much like the uh gravity generator they gave a video example of. I'll leave a link to that video in the description, as well as a link to the blog for more detailed information. Now, on to the updates, which is just outside. So we'll just step right on out here, and right away you guys can see one of the new updates. That's right, LED displays. Now, technically this is actually two different displays I've set up here. We've got the small, which is this little guy here, as that display. And you got the large over here. See? And the settings are simple, yet interesting. I'll show you what I mean in a second. First, let's get over, get this next one out of the way. They've reworked these curved blocks here so that they don't look as damaged when they're deforming, though they still look a little damaged. On top of that, they added new blocks. These will not deform anything they come in contact with. So, you could build those nice curved figures on your ship without problems. And yes, this is even an indent, a reverse curve section, just like. Uh, I don't even know what to show you. Anyway, so yeah. Three new blocks for armor. These these caps, that center, and this straight, which as you can clearly see does not deform the surrounding armor. Now back to these guys, because these will take a bit. I've got this one cycling every five seconds between two icons that actually fit for that phrase there. I press K to bring up the menu here and, well, you get standard. Turn the screen on and off. Actually does pull in power, so you gotta keep an eye on that. But, change name, show and HUD, standard stuff. Now, the public view actually has its own separate title, as well as its own separate text box. And then the private title and private view. Down here is controls and who can edit what's going on here. I've said it to me just because there's no one else here to help show me. Now, text shown on screen. This part allows you to choose which of the two text boxes you've typed stuff into actually showing out here. You can adjust the font size 
like I've done on that side, as well as coloration and background coloration. And then you can add textures, offline, online, arrows, which you'll need to rotate your block to get pointed the way you want it to. Danger signs, cross, no entry, construction, which I should actually add that to there, and white screen. How long between changes and what you have changing. To remove, you just simply click, click remove. See what that third one looks like. Not bad, a little bright on the edges. And if we pull out our long tool, Number four. If we pull out a grinder, we can see that's the stage two, stage one. I think in stage one they actually look like windows. Let's take a look at that. Gee. Windows. I have one of these small ones. Yeah, it's still right here. Oh, oops. Character tool, grinder. Yeah, they look like windows, so they have the same starting look. But their second theory doesn't change here except for maybe the boundaries there. Noticeable difference in the second stage. Of course there's a difference in the final. Well, That's all for today, guys. This is Ronald signing out. I'll see you next time. Bye.